Hey, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to take a look at uh, seeing the user that pushes a button. So when a user pushes a button, getting the username and writing that to a string. Uh, this was covered in a uh, separate video I did on my map called Trust, but I'm going to do this in isolation so it's nice and fast and you can share it around. So it come up a few times in questions, so let's get started. To start with, we're going to need a button. So with a dev tool tip equipped, I'm going to go to create new object new UI button. With a standard button in the world, I'm going to turn it to face me and then click it a few times just so you can see that it's working. With that, we're going to inspect it. So we're going to select it with secondary and then open up the inspector. In the inspector here, we're going to grab the word Neos button, put that in the world as an interface. You'll see we get a big uh, collection of properties here. We're now done with the inspector, so we can close that. Let's open up our node selector. Inside the node selector, we're going to go into interaction and then button events. Always use button events here rather than looking for is pressed, pressed, released, etc. Just always use uh, button events at the top here. It's a lot more efficient. It's a lot easier. It does all the work for you. So once um, you've spawned button events in the world, just grab the top of this and put it into there and you'll see it links up in a completely different color. That's fine. Just, just do that. Now you'll see we get a pressed output and a released output. And if I move the node events to the side, when I push this, you'll see I get both because I'm pushing and releasing it. If I hold it, I believe you'll only get one. Looks like they're both holding and that's because you can't really hold down a, a standard button in its default configuration. We're only interested in press today, so I'm going to get rid of the released event. And now I'm going to grab a... Uh, she has to do a piece of text rather than anything else here. So if we go to uh, our dev tool to begin, do create new text basic. Put that above the button. Doesn't have to be precise. Inspect that. Grab the text renderer. Put that in the world. And now all we need to do is uh, do a write when the button is pushed. So we'll do write. When the button is pushed, write at the text of the text with a string, and it's expecting a string. To get that string, what we're going to do here is go into users and then do local user and then user username. Hook that up and then hook this up. And now when I push this button, you'll see that the text now says my username. The reason behind this is that when a button is pushed, particularly when you're using button events, um, the pulse or the impulse is run as the local user um, only and no other users. Um, any effects they do, like when I write this to uh, a piece of text, that will be synced, but this exact impulse chain only needs to run on the local user. So that's why you can do a local user here to see who pushed it. So if someone else is in this world and they push this button, um, their username would appear here and yours would disappear. Only one username can be here at once. So uh, this actually covers um, and sort of dips its toes into a very important topic, which is sort of impulse ownership and where impulse is run. Um, Anonymous has done a very good video about that. I will eventually do one of my own just to give you a different take on it or my, um, my way of explaining it. But for now, I'm going to link to their video in the description as well. And... Um, you'll uh, see what's going on there. Uh, essentially, impulses all have an owner and they synchronize data across the network. And we're um, utilizing that fact here to grab the local user's username when you push the button. So you can do this for sort of things like uh, teleporting a user as well. For example, here you can do, um, if you get the user's root slot, so do here, go to user root slot, then this will be the slot of the the root slot of the user who pushed the button and then you can do a uh, transform set global position on that so you'll be able to go here and do this and then you could go write their username and teleport them so here will teleport me to 0 10 um, 0 so now when I push the button you'll see I'm now up in the air And that's again because this is running as the local user and um, they are in complete control of the of the impulse chain here. Hope this helpful. See you next time.